In this video, we're going to look at multiplying and dividing with zeros and ones. So let's review a few definitions. We call the number one the multiplicative identity for the operation of multiplication, since multiplying any number by one doesn't change the number's value. So for example, three times one is three, one times three is three, and again, it doesn't matter what order you multiply it by one, the result is the original number. Uh, recall division is not commutative, so identities do not directly apply to division. So if we divide 3 by 1, we do in fact get 3. But if the 1 is first, 1 divided by 3 does not equal 3. It equals 1 third, which we'll learn about later. So in one direction, dividing, dividing by 1 gives the original number, but dividing 1 by a number does not give the original number. Okay. Uh, multiplicative inverses are fractions, so we won't discuss them, but division is what we call the inverse operation of multiplication. So basically, division undoes multiplication. If I took 12 multiplied by 3 and then divided by 3, I don't even have to think about this. The answer is 12. Multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3 are opposites, so I'll get back my original number. So, we can use that fact to know that dividing a number by itself is 1. Okay. And this is because it's the inverse operation of these. 3 divided by 3 is 1, okay, or 3 divided by 3 is 1 here. Another property that's useful is the zero property of multiplication. And it says if you multiply any number by 0, the result is 0. So 3 times 0 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. Again, the order doesn't matter. Okay. Division is not commutative, so it's not going to directly apply to multiplication. But we do know that 0 divided by 3 is 0. So you can start with 0. So how many groups of 3 are in 0? There are 0. But here, this says how many groups of 0 are in 3, and the answer, in fact, does not exist. Okay. So here's a quick justification of why that is the case. So we had said before we could write 0 divided by 3 equals some number. Using a missing factor, this is saying 3 times what number equals 0. Okay. So what number here, okay, could you multiply 3 by to make the question true? And the result is 0. Okay. But if we look at it in reverse order, 3 divided by 0, this is saying 0 times what number equals 3? And we know from the 0 property of multiplication, 0 times any number is 0. So that's why we say dividing by 0 is undefined where we say the number does not exist. Okay, so now let's look at some examples. Okay. And all of these, again, we could have done before without these facts, but we just want to think of them in terms of identities and inverses when possible. Okay. So any number times 1 is itself, so 1 times 5 is 5. Okay. Any number times 1 is itself, so this is negative 5. Okay, what about 5 times negative 1? Well, we said to multiply numbers, you multiply their absolute values, and if their signs are different, then their answer is negative. So even though it's the, ne the 1 that's negative here, 5 times negative 1 equals negative 5. Okay, here negative 1 times negative 5, well multiply their absolute values, 1 times 5 is 5, if the signs of the numbers are the same, the result is positive. So this is just 5. And these ones are all easy. 5 times 0 is 0. Any number times 0 is 0. Again, we have 0. And finally, 0. Okay. So multiplying any number by 0 is 0. Now let's look at the division examples. Okay. Dividing any number by 1 gives back the number. So how many 1's are in 5? There are 5 1's in 5. 
How many ones are in negative 5? Well, there are negative 5 ones in negative 5. Okay. Divide any number by itself. The result is the multiplicative identity 1. Here, notice we're dividing a number by itself, so the result is 1. Okay. Here, we're dividing by negative 1. Okay, instead of just 1, but it's the same idea as we saw up here. We'd say 5 divided by 1 is 5. Okay, so divide the absolute values. Since the um, signs are different, that means the result is negative. Negative 5 divided by negative 1 will divide their absolute values. 5 divided by 1 is 5. Since the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Now we have zeros. So 0 divided by negative 5. Well, this is the one where the answer is 0. So remember, if 0 is first, you can divide 0 into any amount of pieces except 0. Okay, But you cannot divide a number into 0 pieces. So what you're looking for here to remember which direction it is, is 0 can be the dividend, the number you're dividing, but 0 cannot be the divisor. And here we will write and in math AS, you'll write this as well. Negative 5 divided by 0, the answer DNE4 does not exist.